for 16 years, there has been a countdown to playoff hockey in Pittsburgh. It is the longest active streak in major American professional sports. At the heart of this magical run has been the resiliency of all who have walked through this tunnel. And while it's become a rite of passage, it should never be taken for granted. It'll be a grind, boys. It's gonna be worth it, though. Right at them, right at them. Let's fight for every inch right here, boys. For those responsible for this year's playoff run, the goal remains the same as it was for all those who have sat in these stalls previously. The common thread, aside from the literal ones worn on their chests, have been the leaders on the team. And while they are the last three on the ice, there is no doubt the team will follow their lead. Alongside head coach Mike Sullivan, I'm Josh Getzoff. Coach, I know the schedule's busy, the travel is picking up as well, but we always appreciate the time. It's my pleasure, Josh. Great to have you on, and obviously not the result you guys wanted last night against the New York Rangers, a 3-2 loss. What do you take out of the, the loss last night? Well, I think we can take a number of things. Here's Fox, center point position. It's a right-hand shot, wrist shot, just missed it in the near post, poked in on the rebound by Kreider. So the Rangers hang on tight at the end and they jump the Penguins in the Metro standings with a 3-2 win here tonight. I thought we were much more competitive in that game last night than we were last week, that's for sure. I know our team has another level to its game and that's our challenge here. Moving forward over the next month or so is to try to continue to get better as a group. I'm wondering if maybe just the schedule ahead almost lends itself to a better focus and a consistent focus for your team. We're playing a lot of playoff teams, and I think that's going to challenge us to be at our best. It's going to force us to be at our best if we're going to get results. So for me, there's no better time of year than to play those types of teams for us to continue to grow and get better as a group. So sometimes the best competition brings out the best in us. That, I think, is, is what I'm looking forward to watching here over the next three or four weeks. We certainly have this team in the right direction once again. Penn's top three in the Metro about to embark on a big two-game road trip. We always appreciate the time. Good luck against Minnesota, and we'll talk again in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Josh. I've enjoyed our conversation. This is the most important time of the year. Yeah. This is when teams are playing their best. And you're basically going to be thrown on a moving train. And you're going to have to jump on. You're going to have to keep up. Let's make sure we bring some attitude tonight. Let's be ready to play. Come on. Thank you back to Marino. Marino with the shot. Let's go! What a start for Pittsburgh. Everybody in the lower bowl will stand. This is flat out awesome. What a hockey game. This is playoff hockey. These are the games you want to play. Yeah. Are they hard? Heck yeah, they're hard. Are they physical? Yeah. Are you hurting a little bit right now? You better believe it. But this is why you play the game. Well, for the second time, as many meetings between these two teams, 60 minutes is not enough. We are headed to overtime. It's been a classic here in St. Paul. We'll see how it ends in the coming minutes. And this battle in the back alley belongs to Pittsburgh. That was a hockey game. Loved it. For me, that's one of the most complete games we've played in a long time. 
that had a playoff feel to it. It was physical. That was a hockey game. You guys, I thought, competed all night long. I thought it was a terrific effort right down the lineup. So we stayed with it. We got scored against. We just dropped the puck. We kept playing. That's the resilience that we need to grow and build on moving forward here. You just beat a real good hockey team. You notice your lungs at all? Huh? You notice your lungs? Like... Shooter. Shooter? Yeah. Maybe throw a one-timer or a shot. Hey, a little higher. Bounces near side for Gensel. Back behind the cage for Rusty. Takes his shoulder from Cogliano. You try going over here, Rusty? You just miss it? Yeah, it was a good right play. Good try. McKinnon will keep it himself. Far side, half old leads it. Burkowski a shot. Save made. Rebound. Oh. Score! The Moose is loose. Keep going here. Turn over here by the Avs. Gensel in over the back end. Deeks and he missed the net at the far post. I had him. Oh yeah, no. I'm saying, like, Thank you. Take your yeah. That, I forehand yeah. first, and then you had him. Skate, skate. Dumoulin, he'll gain the line left wing, left circle for Gensel. Shot was blocked, picked it up behind the net. Gensel up the right wing for Latang. He shoots one safe. Kemper rebound, swatted in. Sidney Crosby scores. And the Penguins have tied this game with 5.14 to go in the second. The captain with an answer. In space, near side, new hook throws on the brakes. Big drive, score! Let's go, get it back. I know. Right wing for Burakovsky, back to McKinnon, shoots sliding across, and Tristan Jari with another miraculous stop. hope to punch their ticket to the Stanley Cup playoffs in the not too distant future and we get this matchup for the second time in as many games. It's working after the game on Saturday in Denver. Mike Sullivan was asked about his Penguins effort, what he would change. He was pretty straightforward. All he said was the result. Come on boys, here we go, here we go. Good stuff D, good stuff D. Crosby on the far side, lost possession of the puck, and Miko Rantanen comes out through center. Skating rip, 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 rip. 400 tonight as he dumps it into the attacking end. On the far side is Burakovsky, right circle, McKinnon darts to the net, centers atop the crease and scores. Yeah, yeah. And the Avalanche strike first, two minutes and 45 seconds in, 1-0 Colorado. Come on, boys, let's get back at it. Crosby. Points in 13 straight at home. Left side for Gensel in the slot. Pedersen drives one off the pad of Kemper. Rebound, Russ shoots and scores. That's another one, Rusty. That's the character of Brian Rust, right? Just a bad break. He goes off to stick it in. But next shift, he goes out and gets it right back. Right, here come the abs on a three on one. McKinnon dragging past the cross. Sorry, spectacular save. Here's Charles. Good job, Charles. Hey, good play there, you two. I can't stay on my feet right now. Now Burakovsky. Come on, come on, come on. Goes to McKinnon, rifting in that soft area. Shoots and scores. Nathan McKinnon. So lucky. He had no idea. Well, they're thinking we just have to get the next goal. We gotta get the next one. The Eagles have had a couple games recently where they've come back. Lock, fighting through. Avalanche here, the two on one. In front for Held, he scores. 
That'll seal it for the Avs. This one stings a little bit because I expected a lot better from the Penguins. That's not good enough this time of year, and I just feel that the Penguins need to be a lot better than they've been lately. You know, obviously we're disappointed we didn't get the result. From a compete standpoint, you know, we're down to the sprint. Every game is big, every point's important. We have to have some resilience to our mindset. We've got to see what we can take out of it and get ready for the next one. And, and, and I think that's the mindset that we have to have from here on out. Well, we welcome you aboard for this one tonight, everybody. The Pens, if they win, they clinch a spot in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Good energy here, boys. Let's get after it right away. Go, go, go. Mike Sullivan is loaded up the top line with Crosby, Gensel, and Ricard Raquel. I'm excited. Get some speed. Get some speed. Yeah. Gensel on the end wall, passes back to the left point, Latang there, holding, shooting, yeah. scores! Nice boys, nice. Nice bang bang. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Crosby yeah. across for Gensel, shoots, yeah. he scores! Oh my god, he just keeps staying blessed. You gotta be kidding me. Keep going, you're going good, keep going. Come back, come back, come back. Okay. Looking to go in front for Lee, and Lee crashes into Jari. Lee is going to continue here. Man, I'm not feeling good about this, Josh. He's still kind of flexing his leg. He's staying in goal. All right, Ben, make sure we can all collectively exhale, we think. What? What was that? What? Quick shot. Quick shot. All cap, cap. How you liking uh, 67 with 59 and 87? Oh my god. That must be that. Can't hear what you say. Yup, yup, yup. That's the way you gotta do it. Games aren't gonna be easy. And there's no script for winning hockey. You better find your best pair of shoes, Pittsburgh, because your Penguins are going dancing again for the 16th straight season. So congratulations on making the playoffs. It's not easy to do in our league, you know, and for Sid, Gino, and Tanger, it's your 16th year in a row making the playoffs. It's, it's unheard of in this league. It's, it's an amazing accomplishment. So congratulations to you guys on that many consecutive playoff berths, but we got a lot of unfinished business. I hope we, we're, we're all excited about what's in front of us. It's just given us an opportunity to go after what we really hope to accomplish here. When moving to a new city, it's always nice to have an old friend to lean on. For these Swedish roommates, they provide each other with a taste of home while living in Pittsburgh. Peter, are you going to tell them what we're doing every day? We'll lay on the couch yeah, over there. Exactly. <laughs> so I was by myself when Ricky got traded. My girlfriend was back home in Sweden. So I just told him, like, hey, come live with me. We got an extra room. He's been good so far, but I'll let him know if he oversteps his boundaries or whatever. <laughs> I told him you can kick me out whenever you want. Yeah, we're not going to do that. He cooks for us. Him and my girlfriend, uh, you share. I've been trying to make things that we eat a little bit at home. Yeah. Like the stroganoff, yeah. the first made day. A sausage stroganoff yeah. for me. I'm not a great chef, but. Yeah, yes. Even though you follow rep recipe, you're still a good chef. He's modest now. We can play that if you want. Maybe we just play it to four or something like that. Yeah, we played a little bit yesterday. Let's do uh, rock, paper, scissor forever. Nice you start. always go with the scissor. Yeah. I fall for it every time. I gotta come up with a strategy. Yeah. It's all positioning. You gotta hem your opponent in. Oh no. That's one nothing him. Yes. The one time I'm gonna beat you is with yeah. the cameras. Tougher than it looks, probably, too. Yeah, really. That's stupid. 
I gotta make up my mind. I don't know if I'm right or left handed. <laughs> oh, two fat fingers. Yes. Two, two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Me. So, yeah. So weak. It's a real good so contact sport. Mm -hmm. You can hit each other in this. This is cool. Okay, congrats. Good game. I have a lot to learn. What is it, four nothing in games right now for me? Don't worry, we'll, we'll play a lot. All right, coffee's done. This is fika, Swedish fika. It's really just coffee and a cookie or a cinnamon roll or something like that. If there's anybody from Sweden watching right now, they're gonna be all over us for putting milk in it. Yeah. Well, that's tough. I know. That's the workers that do that. We have a lot of fikas in Sweden, like. Yeah. You just sit down, talk about life, yeah. problems. <laughs> We're having none right now. Life is good, weather is good. With no problems. You can sense everyone around the locker room is getting excited about this time of the year and it's gonna be fun to see how far we can go. It's just impressive too when we talked about before in the locker room when Gino, Sid and Tanger have been making it 16 years in a row. That's yeah, a huge that's... accomplishment to, to just make it because every year it's so tough. Yeah, it's really impressive. Yeah. You see how like usually teams go up and down yeah. Throughout go the, through rebuilds and stuff. Yeah, there have been 16 years is 16 a long years. time. Yeah, a long time. With the playoffs approaching, that means one thing. Time for team pictures. And with starting goaltender Tristan Jari sidelined with an injury, Casey DeSmith was ready for the spotlight. How's the hair? It was a good hair day. I got lucky. Oh, that's the hardest part right there. Sitting down. I feel so fat when I sit down and on my gear. Thank you. Good practice, everybody. Let's go skate 50 laps. You take one of these, Dana? Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Can't stick handle anyways. Hit the net. My right leg's starting to get tired. Too many circles. Okay, let's get it started. Ah. Ah, right in the face. First one. What a start. Oh, come on. Where's my defense? He wanted to score on me for sure because he knows I have the mic. I'm thirsty. Save. Should I go end to end? I'll let him have this one. Hey, Speedy! That's a breakaway! I save that one on Sid. Check the tape. I feel like I hit my glove and then the post. That might be wishful thinking though. I'm very fast. I'm like Forrest Gump. But I am. But I'm not an idiot. Wow, wow. First goal. First goal you've ever scored? Uh, I probably have like, a, like an 85 right now. Maybe an 80. No, it's not very good. Mostly Sid's fault. So game realistic. Oh, come on. I don't know much about the rules, but that might be goal interference. That's bull crap. Penguins are right back at it after punching their Stanley Cup playoff ticket on Thursday night. A 6-3 win over the New York Islanders at PPG Paints Arena that sends the Pens to the playoffs for the 16th straight season. The 
Gorky, big news ahead of this one from Mike Sullivan. We knew Tristan Jari was not on the trip. We knew he wouldn't be available today. And now we kind of have a little bit of a timetable as Sullivan saying Jari is week to week with a lower body injury. So I guess if you want to be glass half full guy, week to week is better than month to month. All right, here we go, boys. We got Mikey, Hanger, Getsy, Rax, Sid, Casey kicking off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boston Bruins and Pittsburgh Penguins. This is a kind of a stretched out home and home from the Penguins perspective. We're underway for the Pens and the Bees here in Boston. Smith, we got loose puck in front of the rebound. They score. And it's Fred Frederick back in the lineup. Cashes into the opening minute. Get it back, get it back. Vice comes all up over the line, left wing. Grish shot off the blocker to Smith. Rebound, pinballs in atop the crease. Hala put it to the net and hit Taylor Hall in front and the Bruins go up 2-0 just over two minutes in. Wake up back there. Yeah, baby. I like that. Damn now. You got to go. I got high here. Hey. Two. One. And hide it again against the Bruins. Yeah. Get behind the eight ball. Usually it means trouble, but Dan kind of brought you back. Lisa Smith made save after save after save to stop it at two, give the Penguins a chance, and they did have chances. They had a lot of chances in this game. So we're too afraid to get beat. I just don't get it. So the opportunities were there, the finish wasn't there. I felt that the Penguins worked hard, but they didn't work hard enough to beat the Bees here today. Boston gets the win, they get the playoff berth for themselves, and that's pretty much it as far as the Eastern Conference. Every season tells a story. The crowd rises to their feet and the final seconds tick off the clock. The Pittsburgh Penguins 2021 campaign ends tonight at Nassau Coliseum. And while the path to get there is always different, the destination has remained the same for the last 16 years. This is about a mindset that this team has to become. It's part of the fabric of our identity. It's what we're about. It's the expectations we all have of one another, okay? These are non-negotiable. They're not optional. They're not once in a while. They're all the time. But with every end, comes a new beginning. And this destination is always the starting point for something bigger. Letang breaks up ice, joined by Crosby. Chris Letang, you're on the two on one, fire, they score! <laughs> Their journey to get here has shaped them as a team. We've gotta be a resilient group. There's gonna be ebbs and flows of the game. Okay, we gotta handle them the right way. Where they go from here will determine how this team Remember. Go! Let's go, guys, let's go! That was uh, the suit, is actually, isn't it a kid show? The Tales on a Banana? Uh, electric Banana Band. Like, they yeah, call it Electric a... Banana Band. It's like a kid show. Yeah, like, we, we went to a really fancy yeah, restaurant. So and... They loved it there, too. Like it was supposed to be embarrassing. Yeah, it was, but it wasn't really because he, he pulled it off. Yeah, so. you guys made me take a picture with Alesso. Yeah, the DJ. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was there, there for too. dinner. So I think I looked pretty good in it. I think they expected much worse.